So the question today is why would you want to use lemon juice and apple cider vinegar for your liver? Let's talk about it. The key element or factor in apple cider vinegar is not the vitamins and minerals in apple cider vinegar. It's the acetic acid. So as far as the quality goes in apple cider vinegar, get something that's organic. Um, you can get Bragg's. There's other organic versions. But commercial apple cider vinegar has sometimes pesticides in it. So just get something that's quality. Okay, what does acetic acid do? It helps suppress fat storage. Now, why does it prevent a person from storing fat? Uh, mainly what it does to your blood sugars. It actually improves insulin sensitivity. It makes insulin more sensitive, which means it reduces insulin resistance, which means it'll reduce insulin. Okay, and anything that does that will help uh, prevent the storage of fat and stabilize your blood sugars and reduces fat on the liver because fatty liver comes from high levels of insulin. But the real big benefit for apple cider vinegar is this, it speeds up digestion, okay? It helps you release bile from your liver. It helps the pancreas release enzymes. So let's say, for example, you ate a meal and you feel bloated or you have indigestion, you wanna take apple cider vinegar. It just helps to speed up the digestive juices, the flow of fluids through your liver, through the stomach, through the small intestine. So if you have any doubts, try it yourself and you'll see that it will work. So these are the main key benefits of adding apple cider vinegar to your diet. Now let's shift over to lemon, okay? So you can do raw lemons or lemon juice in a bottle. Just realize that if you're consuming lemon juice in a bottle, it's cooked, it's pasteurized. And anything that you heat, you destroy enzymes and you destroy certain vitamins. You're gonna greatly lower the vitamin C when you do that. There's other benefits to lemon juice uh, that go beyond vitamin C, but you're not gonna get a lot of vitamin C if you're getting it from a bottle. And as a side note, if you're gonna get lemon juice in a bottle, make sure you get an organic version, not the one that you usually get at the grocery store that has the preservatives. Get something just with lemon juice and water. So there's several benefits of lemon juice. One is if it's raw, you're getting a lot of good vitamin C. So vitamin C is very, very important, especially to the liver. It's a powerful antioxidant. And there's a lot of oxidation and free radical damage going on in the liver. So vitamin C is very important in reducing that oxidative effect that happens in the liver. Vitamin C also will increase glutathione, which is a, another powerful antioxidant in the body especially in your liver. And even though glutathione is not made inside the mitochondria, the little energy factories, uh, it's used by the mitochondria as a very important antioxidant. And you should probably check out some of the videos I have on the mitochondria. I put a link down below on that topic. All right, next thing, lemon juice protects against liver damage. Lemon juice has a lot of phytonutrients, not just vitamins and certain minerals. These phytonutrients are very necessary in protecting the cells against all the chemicals that are involved. I mean, think about it. Your liver is the main organ to detoxify poisons and chemicals, and it needs antioxidants, not just the ones that your body makes, but you need them from the diet as well. And lemons provide a good source of antioxidants. And citric acid decreases oxalates, okay? And oxalates actually can form kidney stones. They can actually form um, crystals that cause pain in certain parts of the body, and citric acid helps prevent those. And this is one of the reasons why if you're doing keto and intermittent fasting, this is this would be a really good drink to consume uh, for the benefits of apple cider vinegar and also the benefits to reduce oxalates. And one more benefit that lemon has is its anti-inflammatory properties. When a person has a fatty liver, their inflammation goes up, and that can develop all sorts of buildup of collagen as scar tissue, which eventually turns into cirrhosis. So anything that reduces inflammation would be a good thing. Now, there's many different ways that you can consume this. You can take apple cider vinegar in a pill. Uh, there's even lemon powder. Um, what I do personally is I take between one and two ounces of lemon juice. It's usually two ounces. And then I'll mix that with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and about 16 ounces of water. Okay, and I'll just drink that down. I normally like to consume this mixture um, after dinner, maybe about six or seven o'clock at night. Uh, some people like to take a smaller version and consume that before meals. It's really up to you. You can 
test it out different ways. And sometimes I'll add a scoop of wheatgrass juice powder to this mixture, which just adds more nutrients. And then there's other times that I consume my wheatgrass juice powder by itself in water in the morning, very early, in about a 16 ounce jar. So I'll do that a little bit earlier in the day and I'll have this more in the evening. And this seems to really help digestion. So as you're doing uh, intermittent fasting, two meals and one meal, and you feel like you're just a little bit stuffed or you feel a full sensation or bloating, the combination of both of these in some water can really help to enhance digestion and take the stress off the liver. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?